winter weather from yesterday. We want to show you a live look at nmroads.com. You see the driving conditions all around the state. Anything you see that is yellow, which is a lot of the state, is snow packed and icy. This is I-40 east of Albuquerque as you go through the East Mountains all the way out towards Santa Rosa where it gets green, where it's still slick. Of course, I-25 up to Santa Fe and all the area in the northern mountains up near Taos, Springer, Raton, Chama, 550 up toward Farmington. Remember, Black ice is out there. It's usually mistaken for wet pavement. Be especially careful as you get on and off the interstate and as you go over bridges and overpasses. And you're going to need to be careful on those slick roads right here in Albuquerque on your way out to work or school this morning. This is especially true up in the Heights where a lot of that snow fell yesterday and unfortunately it turned to ice overnight. We sent News 13's David Romero live to Manal and Wyoming. So David, how slick is it out there right now? Well, Matt, the storm left quite a mess behind on city streets from where we came in from the station down in the South Valley all the way up through uh, the interstate, Interstate 40 and on down uh, Wyoming. It's not too bad, but the further east you go into the city limits here on the city streets, that's where it's going to get bad. I'm going to take a step out of the way here and have you look behind me at the intersection of Wyoming and Manal. You can see there's a lot of moisture on the streets, which of course is frozen because we're about at 11 degrees. Now, there were a number of streets throughout town which you could visibly see were covered with the layer of snow and ice. However, it's what's underneath, which is the black ice that you can't see. It's proving to be a worry this morning. Now, black ice and the slick conditions are what has is what's having APS and other surrounding school districts on a two hour delay this morning. They want to make sure that road crews have some time to work on the roads before the buses head out and of course giving some families time to go slow this morning. That's the thing that we can't stress enough and that we're going to be harping on this morning because it's all it's it's all the more important that you take your time because you can't see that ice. Now, DOT crews were out salting and cindering affected roads once the snow started falling. They've been out all night and morning. And again, you still want to be careful on these streets. Take your time. Don't be in any kind of rush. Uh, that's especially important along the freeways and the off ramps because uh, that's where you're going to be coming down those inclines and you want to give yourself plenty of time to stop. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you for the update, David. Stay safe. Bundle up out there. Also, be careful with the bridges and overpasses. As David mentioned, they tend to freeze over pretty quickly. And don't forget, before you can head out, you can always get the latest on the road conditions here in Albuquerque and all around the state by checking our website, krqe.com, or calling the State Roads Hotline at 511. Now, again, I want you to know all Albuquerque public schools are on a two hour delay this morning. This is why the storm swept through the state yesterday, left behind snow packed and icy roads. APS says it's just too dangerous for all the school buses to get out there for parents to bring their kids in during the early morning hours when those roads are slick. You can find all those delays for all around the state running at the bottom of your screen and on our website, krqe.com, right on the home page. Just look under closings and delays. There's a big list of them right there. And take a look at this. A guy drove into the pond at Landry's about 9 o'clock last night. It's the uh, restaurant over at Jefferson and I-25. There it is. A, looks like a Jeep or an SUV there right into the pond. The police say the driver was this man, Michael Maestas. They also say he was drunk. He's now going to jail. All right, as we mentioned earlier, if you're headed to Santa Fe, of course, that's an area you're going to need to look out for. Give yourself plenty of extra time out there. There's a good chance I-25 will be just like it was yesterday. Take a look at what happened near Santa Domingo, where a truck slid off the interstate. Crews were trying their best to take care of situations with snow plows all around the area, including here at La Bajada. Now, earlier you mentioned not a lot of snow on the way today, but we're not, none of this is really going to melt, is it? No, that's the problem is because the cold set in after the snow, and so we're going to be dealing with these awful road conditions today, tonight, and through a lot of the day tomorrow, too, as temperatures really struggle to get above freezing. Tomorrow afternoon looking a little better for us. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We still have some snow to talk about. Winter weather advisories in blue, winter storm warnings are there in pink, and that goes until 6 a.m. So we're just about done with these advisories and warnings, and we're really not seeing a lot in the way of snow, but you head out east toward Tucumcari, out toward Fort Sumner and Clovis, Portales. We're seeing some light snowfall there, and we're seeing some patchy snow up in our northern mountains. But the big story is the cold in the roads from the snow that we saw yesterday. Anywhere from one to three inches of snow for the metro area, and that's not including northern and eastern New Mexico that saw the snow too. Out there right now, we're in the single digits this morning, so bitterly cold out there. Temperatures are going to stay in the low teens and single digits through a lot of the morning. And look at the highs today for Albuquerque. We're talking highs only in the upper 20s and across a lot of the state. Temperatures staying below freezing. So the road conditions are going to stay an issue for us again today, tonight, through a lot of tomorrow. I'll break it down for you. Have your extended forecast coming up in just a bit. 
And of course, we're staying on top of all the latest weather and road conditions. For even more updates anytime you'd like, check out our website, krqe.com. In other news for you this morning, your kids' education, banning, texting, and driving. The talk about all that and more officially starts today in just a few hours at the Roundhouse. That's because state legislators go back to work for this year's session. In just a few hours, they'll have to pass the state's next budget. That includes having an extra $200 million in new money. Democrats and Republicans on the Legislative Finance Committee want to use that to give state workers a small pay raise. But the governor has said she doesn't like that idea. And right after legislators go back to work, Governor Susanna Martinez will give her state of the state address. That should be about 1 o'clock this afternoon. We will be with her at the Roundhouse. We'll let you know what she says later today on News 13 and at KRQE.com. Also later today, we could find out who's going to replace Tim Jennings as president of the Senate. Mr. Jennings, you might remember, lost his race for election back in November. And last month, Democrats nominated Pete Campos, who is from Las Vegas, to go ahead and replace him. But Mary Kay Papin of Las Cruces says she has a shot at winning as well. Well, four down and one more to go. Police in Los Lunas have caught most of the people they say broke into a Walmart on Christmas Day and stole $30,000 worth of guns and electronics. But the hunt is still on for one more man. Take a look. He is Gary Wilson right here. Police think he was working with Emilio Larson and three teenagers. And investigators say they were the ones who stole all that stuff, including six guns. Investigators say they found those guns and some of the electronics within the past few days. They also say that one of the men, Emilio Larson, used to work at a couple Walmarts in Albuquerque. He also knew that, uh, I won't give out specifics, but he knew the alarm system, uh, knew how to gain entry without tripping it, knew how to leave without tripping it, knew that the security guard would drive around every uh, so many minutes. Well, Larson and the three teens all face a number of charges right now. Well, Santa Fe's mayor is getting ready for a trip to Washington, D.C. tomorrow, where he's going to push for tougher gun control laws. David Koss is just one of dozens of mayors all throughout the country who wants the government to ban magazines that hold a lot of bullets and force all people who to buy guns anywhere to go through background checks. Well, investigators have arrested the city's uh, latest bank robbery suspect. He's now facing up to 20 years in federal prison. If he's convicted, they say that Anastasio Amador is the man right here in these surveillance photos holding up the Bank of Albuquerque on Coors and Sequoia from the weekend.